Essentially, you are re relying a lot on the information that you get from home and school, mainly in the form of rating scales. And rating scales are really, really helpful, but they're not precise. Sometimes it, it, teachers or parents may, they may overrate a child's symptoms or they may underestimate the, the symptoms that they're seeing. What you're having to do when you're making a diagnosis of ADHD is, is find the evidence, firstly, that the child is affected by inattention, impulsivity and high activity levels. To date, I've been using the QB Check as part of a comprehensive assessment. And I've certainly found that increasingly useful in children that are presenting with a range of difficulties and have lots of different diagnoses. So it just can help to add that, that confidence. It's also a really good way to break the news to a child and their family about diagnosis because you can take them through step by step and show why they are experiencing a particular difficulty compared to their peers and then at the end you can explain why you think that's happening. If you're reassuring them that the child doesn't have ADHD, you can talk about all the things that you've noticed that would go against ADHD and then if you have the QB check shows that they're performing on that compared to their peers and it's very clear in the, in the, in the pictures that they're very similar, you can just provide so much more reassurance.